Well, hey guys, Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango W3CT, your good old friend Jack. This is my ham radio journey. Guys, we're back out today at good old US 1409 Raccoon State Park here in Washington County, southwestern Pennsylvania. May even be partly in Beaver County. So you guys know the past few videos I've been running the uh, vertical, the Wolf River, Wolf River Coils vertical. And I thought today, man, it's a beautiful day out here. It's like... 46 degrees the weather's really nice and i thought you know what i want to do some comparisons today so not hooking up both antennas at one time i mean i'm going to eventually do that probably in the summer when i can sit a, a picnic bench out here but being working in the car i'm not going to do it right now but anyway I'm thinking about doing a little comparison here today though so what I've been contacts I've been making with the vertical with the uh, with the soda special and today I decided to put up my old faithful and fed half wave that I built I, I got this choke on it here I don't even really know if I need it I mean but I did put it on there anyway it's on the coax there goes a plane over right there, of course. So, and I got a lot of wire going. And what I did was, since it's a beautiful day out here, I brought my mast out. I want to show you guys something on this mast. <laughs> little update. And I had quite a few people. I got it actually up and actually ran into the tree there. So, but it's all the way up. That's okay. But a lot of you said, or a few of you said, or at least one guy said, Hey Jack, you're gonna have trouble with those uh, those key rings. They're, they're not gonna hold up. Look at this. You see that? I had it on a windstorm. It ripped that thing right off. It just unwound it. Like it was. It did look like this. So it's good enough for today though. But yeah. So I'll be changing that over to. He said use D rings. So I gotta look for D rings. But yeah, it's up there. It's all the way up to the top there. Another thing I wanted to just clarify with you guys, because I know a lot of you are going to be putting in comments here and saying, hey, Jack, you're crazy, which probably most times, right, you may think that. At least my wife does. The Wolf River Coil, I keep saying the ground radials are 53 feet. They're not. They're 33 feet long. I don't know where I got 53 stuck in my head. All right. I'm going to go in the car here, get the laptop configured. Uh, for the pod activation and uh, like I said I'm not going to record the pod activation as much as I'm going to record I'll give you a comparison of what I make today all right so we'll do a comparison of how many calls and how many cues I made in one hour compared to the vertical I think that would be a fair comparison because I don't have them both out here and both set up I do have them uh, somebody once said in a video I watched because I watch a lot of YouTube uh, make sure you always take extra extras. So I don't know. I got both radios with me. I got uh, probably four antennas in the car right now I can use. So, all right, I'm gonna get on the air before it gets too late. I want to get some activating in. All right, I'll talk to you. Well, guys, I uh, activated on 20 meters, and it's pretty rapid ap activation today. I had the 10 cues I needed in like maybe 20, 25 minutes. So it wasn't bad. I mean. Oh, but I decided I need to get out of the car there and take a little walk, stretch my legs a little bit. Because I think now, and now total right now I have 25 on 20 meters. Um, and then, I don't know, it, it's still, I'm still hitting a reverse beacon pretty well, so I know I'm still getting out. But the thing is, I uh, think I'm going to switch it out and just pop down to 10 meters and see what happens. But uh, yeah, once you get that activation, go this way. Hopefully, the sun's not, I think the sun might be, take me out a little bit there. But yeah, so I'm going to go down to 10 meters down and see what's on there. And just play around a little bit. I don't want to leave quite yet. Uh, I think it just turned maybe 2 o'clock. A little bit after 2 o'clock here, Eastern time. So, I got time. So, I got, like I said, I got that wire strung up, and uh, it's doing a good job. I mean, it's it's always performed for me, so I mean, it, it's doing well. That's the one I built, and uh, you know, 
Yeah, I think it's the fun thing about this is just uh, coming out and playing around a little bit. I should pick up all this wood here for a bonfire to our house. I should throw it on the back of the car. Looks like somebody cut some trees down here and just left all the branches laid here. But there, I'll show you. Take a look. So, either that or it fell that way. It's a pretty clean break. But, yeah, a lot of nice stuff there to build a nice fire at home. All right, anyway, so I'm going to get back in the car. And like I said, I'm going to jump on 10 meters for a while just to see what happens. And uh, it's funny, I talked to talked to my friend Rob this morning. He was out here operating. I, I might have put that in the video. I don't think I did. Uh, he was operating the sideband, so... Uh, yeah, I think I put that. I told my wife when we were upstairs and I uh, contacted Rob. And then Rob must be home. He just contacted me on CW. So that's pretty cool, man. Uh, I'd like to meet him one day. I don't know if he watches these videos or not. But Rob, we got to meet up. I did meet Bill out here already. So Bill actually does activate this park also. All right. So I know I'm going to blast myself out here. I'm going to backlight myself. But I'm walking back to the car. Get back in. Uh, so yeah, in a comparison way for time... Uh, the wire could be band conditions, but the wire definitely beat uh, the Wolf River Coils uh, Soda Special, their vertical antenna, the 78-inch whip, as far as time goes. Uh, as far as contacts go, I've been working pretty far out, and I hit Vancouver again today, so that's that's a plus, right? All right, maybe on 10 meters I'll find some DX. Who knows? Uh, it's nice to get some DX when you're pod activating. But yeah, I'll get back in the car and do some more operating. Uh, show you the old standard setup here as I get back in the car. You can see I got the laptop up there, the G90, the CW Morse key, and my handy dandy desk. Man, I love this thing. It really makes it comfortable for activating when you're sitting in the car, anyway. All right, guys, I'm gonna get back to it, see what happens, and I'll uh, close this video out here at some point. I'll let you know how I did. All right, guys. Well, this day is panning out to be fairly good. I went down to 10 meters. I got Rob, uh, and Rob, I don't know if you see these, but I knew, uh, and I, I, I sent CW back. I said I knew you would follow me. I knew he would be watching, right? And he would find me. So, anyway, um, I got one on 10 meters. Thanks, Rob. And then I went to 15, and I got one, two, three, four. I got five so far. Five on 15 right now. So, um, you know. It's coming along I mean you know I got uh, 31 for the day which is is great success I mean that's a good pod activation right so um, and like I said I don't really it's not about that it's about what will the wire antenna do and it is nice in the car I can tell you with the coil you do have to go out and retune um, I don't know a way around that if you do know a way around that let me know for sure with the NFET half wave I've had an absolute flat SWR on on 20 meters on 15 meters and on 10 meters it's been flat with no tuner so that's that's pretty good man i'm pretty impressed with this antenna uh, and i'll put a link in the description below of where i bought it uh, the kit uh, the guy has a great youtube channel and he's a he's a you know he's a kit builder so i'll put that down there in case you want to buy one all right let me get back to let me i think somebody's calling here all right let me see what's going on well guys that is a wrap. Got the radio turned off. It's just about 3 o'clock. That's when I figure I'd get out of here. I was out here for a couple hours, I guess. Something like that. I ended up, I told you before, with one on uh, 10 meters. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I got 10 more. Close these uh, notifications here. I got 10 more on 15 meters. Um, so, you know, I guess... I could have actually activated 115 meters. I've never picked a band outside of 20 or 40 to actually, you know, I've attempted 15 before, but I felt safer today because I was already activated. So, but I ended with 36 QSOs. So that's a good day. Uh, like I said, I'm working on a kilo out here. And uh, you may have seen one of my older videos. I don't know when I put it out a few, maybe a month ago or something about chasing awards you know i don't really chase them but it's, it's just something would be cool to have you know a thousand contacts at one park i mean that's pretty cool all right my friends uh, we'll see how this video comes out there but again this was more of a trial between the uh 
the vertical, the the new uh, vertical I bought, the Wolf River Coil, and uh, the NFET half wave strung up here on my uh, my thirty. It's actually I think it's a it's a ten meter mass, so whatever ten meters equals out to. I used to call it a thirty five foot or something. I'm I'm not sure it's thirty five, maybe thirty three or whatever it is. Anyway, I'm rambling as always, but thank you so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Um, you know, just a comparison video uh, to see how fast and um, uh, the wire today with the band conditions actually hit the mark uh, faster than the Wolf River Quill. But I'm telling you what, when it's cold out here and there's snow on this ground, I'm not going to want to put that antenna out. I'm not going to want to string wire in the tree and everything, so... Everything has its purpose. Every antenna has its purpose that you have in your car right now. So if you bought antennas, you have a lot of antennas, it's okay, right? It's all right to have more than one. Uh, or if one breaks and you're out here, you got a backup, man. There's always a backup plan when you're out here. I came out here one day, didn't have the connectors I needed. I was going to go home. I was like, oh, man, I can't can't work anything. Luckily, I had a random wire. I hope this camera's not moving much. Luckily, I had a random wire sitting in the back of the car, and I was like, I'll just throw that up in a tree and go with that. And, uh, and I activated because I was here. I hate to come here and not do anything. That's not for fun, right? All right, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. This is Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT. Your good old friend, Jack. This is my ham radio journey, guys. And uh, I just got a bad comment on video there. They said, why you say 73s? But you know what? 73s, my friends. And I hope to catch you guys on the airways. Take care, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.